All right, so hi guys. Before uh, we start this video, I just want to let you know that I have a bunch of new stuff added to my Etsy shop if you guys want to check them out. I have some new hollow stickers in the shop, which are really fun designs that I worked really hard on. Like, I'm really, really proud of some of these, so if you guys would like, I would really love it if you took a gander. I also have my new IDV sets in. I have buttons. I, fun fact, yes, I do, as a matter of fact, after a long time, have buttons. I pulled out my button press and I was able to make buttons again. But I also have all of my normal stuff out here as well. So if you guys want to take a look, it would mean a lot. Thank you so, so much. The link is in the description. And again, this video is sponsored by me and my Etsy shop. And if you guys could shop small business this holiday season, it would be uh, amazing, glorious, and great. Now let's get into... The topic of this video as my computer fan decides to, you know, come up during my own ad. All right, so here we go. This is a another off the cuff video. I actually don't have my paper ASMR this time because honestly, I felt sort of like just kind of telling a story from the heart and telling a random ramble from, you know, my insides and that good goo. Um because a lot of people tend to, to like those and things like that. So I do tend to say um or uh, a little bit more than normal. I apologize. I will try my best in editing to go back and post and make it seem like I don't sound like a complete idiot. But this was a question that was asked of me a long time ago. And it really, really stood out to me. I asked questions. Uh, it was either on my community tab or in my Twitter where I was like, hey, what are ideas or topics you would like me to talk about? You know, and someone brought up how there's a rampant issue going on now around like my generation. Cause I'm a later millennial. Well, I'm an earlier millennial. I'm a young millennial, I guess you could say. Um, but I've also, you know, a lot of older Gen Z years, it's popping up more and more and more where you're having people come out where their entire personality trait is that they hate children. Like they make it a personality trait that they just hate kids. And I don't mean that they don't want kids because that's a whole other topic that I will be getting into in a bit. They like, they make it a character flaw in my mind to be a vile person because they will talk about how they can't stand being around kids. They want to physically hurt kids. They would smack kids. They, you know, they would beat parents for kids. You know, they would shame people for wanting to have kids and they'll like throw how great their life is, you know, while saying that kids are the reason why everything's miserable. They'll do this to people that want to be ki parents who can't be parents who, you know, really, really try hard because they want a family and they like pretty much want to shame people for that. Now, it's something I'm seeing more and more and I'm even seeing it on YouTube um, where like there's this one person I follow where I don't follow them like religiously. They're not like a big person. I, I like every time they upload, I watch a video, but every now and then I'll pop in something interesting pops up, but they had a kid this past year and they talked about how badly they wanted a kid and how much they and their partner were trying. And they finally were able to, you know, conceive a kid. And because we're also not going to talk about the, the adoption debate in America right now, because it, I just don't want to, that's, that's not the point of this video, but, uh, really, really happy. And then all of a sudden their comment section was flooded, flooded with these kind of people that were so pissed at this person who wanted to have a kid, who wanted to have a biological kid and tried for so long, had a kid because they claimed to be pro-choice. And it baffled my mind how many people were just disgusting that somebody would want to have a kid. And then they started changing the whole point of pro-choice around. Pro-choice, which isn't the point of this video, but it's in literally the name. It's you choose to either have the kid or don't have the kid. That's the point of pro-choice. It is not forced upon you. Like, if any of you guys know, you know, Texas passed a law recently this year all about that, where a lot of women and a lot of people who uh, were born AFAB who want who have issues, a lot of their choices were taken away, and that's a big issue, you know? And so you're talking to people who are like, oh, well, you are pro-choice. Why would you do this? No, 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 And it, it comes down from... There are a lot of people who are selfish and that is actually inherently fine. I know you're like, what, Michelle, what are you talking about? No, I actually wholeheartedly respect more adults 
that are blunt and are like, I don't want kids. I don't want to have kids. I don't think I would be a good parent. And so kids are just not for me. But have you ever noticed those people are not the same as the people who have this gross issue of thinking that hating kids is a personality trait, you know, where they think they're so cool being a 30 year old threatening to punt a kid in target when I'm sitting here like that's, that's disgusting. And they're like, well, I just hate kids. And it's like, cool. But like, why? It's like, oh, well, kids are monsters and gremlins and gross and awful. And I'm like, well, you know, most of the time that's from bad parents, right? And then it's like, well, I just think there's no point to having kids. And I'm like, okay, so you think the human race shouldn't exist? Because, like, sadly to say, you were a kid at some point. I think another good example of this is, like, um, I saw a while ago, there were these guys on TikTok that would go around... And they would, like, buy up all the Pokemon cards and the Magic the Gathering cards. And they would they would drop, like, you know, very clickbaity videos on YouTube and TikTok of, like, I spent, like, $2,000 at Target because I bought out their entire card section or I bought out their entire toy section or something. And then they would do it to, like, literally laugh at kids. They would be like, uh, suck it, kid, that you don't have a job. I'm like... Yeah, suck it, 10-year-old? Is that really that big of a flex, buddy? That you're, like, you know, dunking on a kid that doesn't have money? And are you that much of a selfish prick to, like, forget what it was like when you were a kid? Because I remember what I was, I was, I was like, I, words, I remember what it was like when I was a kid, when I was younger. I remember how much I would love, you know, when we would go to Target or, or, you know, the supermarket or something, and I would be able to get a tiny little pack of cards, and I was able to, like, open them and see them and, like, look through my lookbook. And because I like a lot of kids, I wasn't good at playing Pokemon cards, but we just collected a lot of them. So I had a bunch of the binders, and I liked just to look at them sometimes, you know? I liked holding them. I remember my brothers tried playing them. I used to like Yu-Gi-Oh! I currently like Magic the Gathering. I, you know, and... When I see these people where they dunk on kids because they think they're hot shit, I think it's like, are is is really nothing happening in your life? I know that's really mean to say, but it's it seems like a really odd flex to to you know throw that you are an adult with autonomy and money because you you are an adult on a kid that doesn't or on a kid that can't when they want to or. On the parents that really want to make their kids happy, but here comes some jerk coming in and then again, filming and then talking about it like it's a big flex when it's really not. It's not. And there are women that do it too. So it's not just men. It is women too. Um, I have seen so many women that are like, have talked to me because I've, I've openly voiced how I want to have children someday. You know, I just want to wait till I'm financially stable a little bit and and then I'll have the argument of like, well, people always say that and they're never financially stable. It's like, you're right. You can never properly, you know, be financially ready for a kid. But I think it can be enough where it's like, ah, money's tight this month. You know, I can cut back on eating. I don't really want to have to do that for a kid. You know, I want the kid to be able to have a bedroom. I want the kid to be able to get toys on their birthday. I want the kid to be able to go to the doctor if they are sick. I don't think those are selfish things to want for a kid. Because I want to give my kid the world someday. And I'm also a firm believer in everything happens for a reason. I've talked about this a lot. Um, same with my husband and my partner. Where what ends up happening is uh, if like biologically I cannot reproduce properly, then I'm like, that's the universe saying I was just not meant to pass on my genetic code, but I still want to be a mom someday. You know, so maybe we'll adopt. Maybe we'll do something like that. You know, maybe we'll foster. Who knows? That time is not now. But that's something I want. And it's something that I really hope to achieve someday. And then I see people who are like, well, why? It's disgusting. And kids are gross. And they're just money pits. And they're this, this, and that. No, 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 no. And it's like, okay, cool. You can, you can have your opinions. But to me, you're just as bad as the people that are pro-baby and pro-life and you know they are the people that are keeping afab people from you know getting sterilized by choice you know or same for men getting vasectomy or uh, amab people getting vasectomies you know it's a thing out there where there are people who are like oh 
Oh, you'll change your mind. Well, to me, you are the same as those people. The people that go on like, oh, a kid is going to change your life and a kid's going to be amazing. And a kid, the glorification of children, you are literally the exact same coin. You are just on the opposite side. And I really hope you like get your, your junk figured out because it's really gross and disgusting. And I don't think you think you're as cool as you think you are. In, in fact, you look way more childish and stupid when, you know, you see kids misbehaving at a restaurant and you instantly go like, Ugh. look at that terrible thing. If that was my kid, I'd beat them. Or if that was that, or I wouldn't have kids or this is why people shouldn't breed and wordage like that. Instead of, I don't know, blaming the parents that are raising the kids and are letting the kids go crazy. Cause that's the big thing here. Now I worked as a teacher's aide for kindergarten for quite a few years and I actually wanted to be a teacher for a limited time when I was in college. I wanted to like, you know, help kids and I wanted to do stuff like that. So I had to do a lot of research into the fact and I had to do a lot of, you know, research into development and nature and nurture and all that crap. And I had learned that the fundamental years of a child are all the parenting. It's, it's all the parenting. It, it comes down to the parenting. And there are a lot of people out there who are selfish, who feel they need to have kids. Not that they want kids. They need to have kids. And then they have kids and then they're miserable about it. That's why, like I said, for the people that are like, I emotionally can't handle a kid and I don't want to have a kid. And I just, I, you know, I would be a terrible parent. So I'm not going to have a kid. I think those are much more mentally mature people. And I think they're stronger for openly admitting they don't want kids. Because we shouldn't force people to have kids if they don't want kids. But in the same vein, you shouldn't have people that are like, yeah, kids suck. Yeah, they're terrible. Yeah, they're money pits. Yeah, they're miserable. Yeah, they're depressing. Yeah, they're... I'm like, do you know what that does to kids? Like, do you know what that does to kids emotionally and physically and how you're just ruining a whole new generation and giving them so many new, like, <laughs> anxieties to, like, have as well as whole new, um, like biases on themselves and, um, making them extremely self-conscious because kids are a lot smarter than a lot of people freaking think. And kids are not dumb. Kids are growing up on the internet these days. So kids are seeing that. So you're getting kids now who are seeing this and seeing these adults, you know, openly say this stuff. And a lot of them in the back of their heads, especially if they come from pretty bad homes, they're probably like, oh, I really am the reason my parents are miserable, aren't I? Instead of being the kid didn't get a choice. That goes back to like the whole pro-choice thing at the end of the day. Your child did not choose to be born. That was your choice as the adult. And that's why I am pro-choice. You know, you, if you are pro-choice, you are, you need to be mentally properly hand, uh, capable of being like, all right, this is, I am now bringing a new life into existence. Okay. They might have issues. They might have medical problems. They might have other problems. They might, you know, be a lot to handle. They might be not. That's having a kid. And we live in a day and age now where it is true in a lot of ways. It is a lot harder to have oops babies. I'm talking consensually. We are not having that debate right now. Um, for anybody who tries to be, you know, a jerk in the comments, um, I am talking about, you know, consenting adults, you know, and basic reproductive rights and things like that. And so it needs to be said that with those finger quote hot takes, it's really disturbing when I see these and I see adults and people my age talking about stuff like this. Because they really think they're like, I think the end of the day, they think they are like extremely nuanced and they think that they are like super unique and special with this like stupid hot take. When no, you look like an idiot and you look exactly like the people who tell couples like, well, when are you going to have babies? Well, when are you going to like settle down? Well, you know, your life's not complete without having a kid. To me, you are the same as those people. You are literally the same. You're just on the other side of the coin. And you need to stop because unless you're around literally other people that somehow get their rocks off on hating on innocent kids, um, then I really think you need help and you need to really get out of your like bubble because, uh, it's a pretty gross way of life. And huh, there's my rant, my ramble, my opinion on that. 
Uh, I don't know if any other people agree or disagree. My chinchilla is currently freaking out in his cage right now, so I don't know if that's picking up on my mic or not, but it, it is for me and it's distracting. So I'm going to end it here. But yeah, thank you so much for, uh, you know, <laughs> offering this topic. If there are other topics you want me to talk about, please le leave them in the comment section down below. If you want to have my opinions on other things, if you want to have like art opinions on things, that's actually going to help me a lot because... Uh, fun fact, I'm actually going to be taking a break from making uh, videos next week after this video goes up to focus on Artmas and then a couple of January so I can have a bit of a buffer. So uh, yeah, I would love to hear from you guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for watching all the way through. Uh, thank you for sitting through my little ad at the beginning. Um, I hope my audio is doing better. Uh, please follow me on my other social media because YouTube doesn't like to push out my content anymore. And doing stuff to help the algorithm really does help you know the liking the commenting the subscribing thing i hate that i have to say that but i, I kind of do because it does help um thank you as always to my patreon patrons i'm rambling now but yeah i hope to see you guys next time and please have a good holiday and a good you know rest of your day and i will see you next time Bye bye